Let's get to Mike Everett now with the full forecast. Uh, it was a pretty nice evening. We're getting closer to the holiday, though, when, of course, things are going to change, right? Yes. I just Everything I'm trying to do with my mind is try and make this happen. On Manifest it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or copy, paste, copy, paste. I'm not quite sure how to do it, but look at that gorgeous silhouette of the cruise ship in the foreground there. Beautiful evening, but... As I'm alluding to, some changes are headed our way, but it's not going to be that bad. We'll be able to deal with that. In fact, 66 degrees is where we are currently. Looks like that's going to be our high on Sunday into Monday there, but it's not about the temperatures. It's about the rain potential. We'll talk about that in a moment. If you are heading out this evening, oh, it's going to be good. We touched down in the mid 50s right in the early morning hours there. There will be some more marine layer cloud cover, very similar to what we saw today. A little slower to clear, but still going to be a pretty decent day tomorrow. Today was phenomenal. I Dare say it was perfect. 75 degrees, one degree above the 30 year average of 74. 55 is exactly where we're supposed to be this time of year. Record for today's date, 94. We were nowhere near that back in 2014. No rain in the gauges and that sunset, 9, 10 p.m. was fantastic. So here's what to expect if you are heading into the mountains. It's going to be stormy there. Now we're not looking at any snow potential because A, it's July and B, <laughs> snow levels and freezing levels are going to be way up high. We're talking about 8, 9, 10,000 feet there. But there is the potential for some thunderstorms out there. And you saw some of those temperatures dipping as we go into the second half of the holiday weekend. If you are heading out to the coast, it's going to be a bit on the gray side out there. Won't stop us from getting into the mid to upper 60s on Saturday and then we are looking at some shower potential on Sunday into Monday as well but again showers doesn't look like it's going to be heavy rain if you are heading off towards the eastern portion of the state it's going to be a little more dramatic there now it'll be warm tomorrow but we are also tracking the potential for some afternoon thunderstorms and then it looks like it's going to be kind of a mix of sun breaks and thunderstorms on Sunday and possibly into Monday as well I'll show you what that looks like in a moment high pressure mostly across the southwest we did have some instability that fired off some storms right near the Canadian border. All of that kind of migrated off towards the north and is calming down now that the atmosphere is cooling. So putting the future into motion here overnight tonight, we see some of that marine layer cloud cover pushing in there. And again, it will be slower to clear tomorrow. Now, as the low moves in over top of Oregon, that counterclockwise flow is going to bring some showers and storms up over the mountains. By the time we get to Sunday around 11 a.m., we could be looking at some strong storms over top of Interstate 90 towards Ellensburg. That migrates up towards Stevens Pass and then curves and heads out over Vancouver Island. Island, and then we'll bring some rain into the Puget Sound right around Monday at 1 p.m. But you can already see that it's starting to dissipate. So as it stands right now, it looks like fireworks will be fine. It looks like we could be looking at some showers that could possibly impinge upon your picnic plans. But we're holding out hope that the skies will clear in time for those fireworks on Monday night. 75 on Saturday and the mid 70s will resume again on Tuesday.